ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Just Plain Living. I'm John Gray. Good morning, John Gray. Love your rooster wear. Thank you, man. <laughs> I'm Peggy Burton. And I'm Jim Fuller. I like your tie, too. Thank you very much. <laughs> tell us about, the, before we get started, tell us about the bow tie. It, it kind of has a story. Well, I started wearing bow ties a long, long time ago, and my father-in-law, Bob Couch, who passed away this, this last week, and I will say to everyone out there, uh, from me and from the family, uh, thank you so much for your overwhelming support and love for Bob and the family, and, and what took place this past weekend was absolutely just phenomenal, and uh, what a guy, what, a, what, a, what an individual what a guy, uh, a yeah. concept. You know, I said to someone, I said, Bob was not just, I mean, Bob Couch, what do you, how do you, how do you say it? And uh, somebody said, well, that's all you need to say. Just Bob Couch. <laughs> Bob right. Couch. And I said, well, yeah, let, let Webster figure the rest exactly, of it out. Exactly, yeah. Put his picture in there, and you let Webster or somebody smarter than me find the adjectives. But uh, concept, Bob's concept, mm -hmm. more than, bigger than life. And uh, in death, he uh, was celebrated, and thank all of you very much. But uh, back to the story, I taught Jacob how to tie a bow tie when he was eight years old. And, and he actually learned? Oh, yeah, of course. That's great. Jacob always has like, always did like to dress. Yeah. And uh, I've told this story before, but when he was about eight years old, I asked him what he wanted for Christmas, and he named off all this stuff, and he said, I want a conductor suit. So, uh, <laughs> you know, and he loved trains, so we bought him a, a conductor we suit. bought him some, some bibbed overall, striped, and a hat, and a scarf, and all that, and on Christmas Day, I said, well, did you have a good Christmas? He said, yeah, I got everything I wanted but my conductor suit. And I said, well, there it lays right there. And he said, no, that's an engineer's suit. Wanted I wanted a conductor <laughs> suit. He wanted tails. Oh. tails yeah. <laughs> so at 10 years old, we went to a used vintage clothing store in Nashville and found okay, tails that seal. fit him. And it. when he went to his piano recitals and stuff, he flipped his tails up. So, yeah, so, so he uh, he likes bow ties, as did Bob, as do I. And uh, got married recently, and after his wedding, he said, you know, all the girls went home got to take a dress home. The guys didn't get to take anything. He had to turn it all back into the tuxedo people. <laughs> so he said he went and found some patterns and got online and started, he and Cindy, and started looking around and bought some material, and she had a sewing machine. So he has started sewing handmade bow ties. And, and it's the, called Rooster And the, right, the name yeah. of his company is Rooster Wear. He's... Uh, he has been nicknamed Rooster ever since he was born, and she is the Red Maiden. And uh, so uh, you can, they have a, and we'll show some of that later on because I, they had a ribbon cutting at the Cokers that I captured yeah. this past weekend. And uh, they have a booth over there, and he will sew bow ties, cummerbunds, vest, pocket squares. To your to liking. Your, to your liking. You find the material, and that way when you get married, you get to go home keep your and stuff. And you get to keep your stuff. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a good idea. So, uh, yeah, that's great. You know, so I, I have, a, I have a, a rooster wear tie on this morning. I was pretty impressed with John, too, because I, I've never worn a bow tie. Never, but ever? I don't well, not even well, with a tux? Yes, I've worn them with a, tux, okay. a tuxedo, but uh, they're not the kind you have to tie. Right. You know, they wrap around your neck and you clip them over here, uh -huh. you know. But, uh, yeah, I actually wore one of them for years because that's the way we dressed when we first mm -hmm. opened the lounge at the Legion. We wore a tuxedo every day. That's but uh, anyway, John and I were talking. We were over here working and we were talking, and as we were walking around, John's tying that bow tie, no mirror. And he's Nothing. able you know, to do it. You know, he's not thinking. I don't know if I mentioned it that day or not, but I thought, that is amazing. One day we need to do a demonstration really where you show you know, us how to do it. We will. It's real sad. It's like anything else. Once you do it a couple of times, yeah. it's just. And it's not supposed to be perfect. It's sort of like tying your shoes. If you, if you see a bow tie on someone that's perfect, they didn't tie it. They didn't tie it. A, a machine tie. Yeah. yeah. Because it's, right. it's just not supposed to be perfect. Something's supposed to hang well, out a little a cool bit longer idea. than the other. And, so uh, yeah, oh yeah, he has he has stuff over there with candy corn on it for Thanksgiving uh, for Halloween. And <laughs> this I think this was supposedly going to be a Christmas. Because it's a, a green with green, red dots. Green with red dots, but I kind of thought it went with this shirt. It uh, does. It looks red pocket wonderful. scarf over here. 
You guys uh, are just spiffy, I have to say. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I just finished reading a book on Frank Sinatra, not that this has anything to do with anything. Frank Sinatra has always, to do with everything. <laughs> he was always in a tie and a suit oh, yeah. or a tux, and oh, yeah. uh, that was just his, that's the way he dressed. Well, you know, back in those days, entertainers, not just entertainers, but people in, uh, people dressed more than they yeah. do now. People just don't dress that much anymore. Too bad. Your average, average go-to-work guy every day put something on and wore a tie and, and uh, did have that type of job. Sure, yeah. You know, and they were all kind of slick looking. Well, I like that show Mad Men from the 50s. Uh -huh. There's a show called Mad Men and it's about the 50s vintage type dress. dress. And that's, that was right in Sinatra's deal. You know, exactly. Like, well, when I was there. teaching school, a lot of times we'd have a dress up Friday mm -hmm. and we always noticed that the students were so polite when they were dressed up. They were just really polite. It was kind of a different atmosphere. Yeah, dress them up all the time. Man. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Sinatra, he lived to be about 90, best I remember, didn't he? Or 89, something like that. Uh, I think late 80s, I should I remember because I just read I it. I attribute that to the fact that he drank good Tennessee whiskey. He was, he liked he Jack was Daniels. A Jack, and you know that Jack, Jack Daniels, Daniels has put, and they need to pay for this advertisement, they have put out a, a brand of they Frank do. Sinatra they do. brand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I haven't tried it yet, and I'm kind of a fan of Jack Daniels. But he was buried with a bottle. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, he was. Anyway, but, you know, it's amazing his career lasted that. that he did long, make a statement. He said, if if he was if he drank as much as everybody thought he did, he wouldn't be singing like he did. Yeah, which you know, who same, goes, who same, can same say? for Dean Martin. You know. But Dean Martin wasn't a big drinker. Uh, no, right, not, right. not he had the reputation of being he had the one, reputation. But, he, but he really wasn't. You know. I remember stories, something about him. They were talking about the. Rat Pack, and mm -hmm. you know when they when they'd go hit Vegas, everybody yeah. thought it was just you know they were taking over everything, and they'd all be out all night partying and everything. And Dean Martin would be in his hotel room with a glass yeah. of milk and cookies <laughs> right. yeah. on the phone to his wife. All yeah, right. you know, so uh, yeah, he he was not quite the scoundrel that no, they made him wasn't. out to be. You know, and I, when we were doing the karaoke thing, I did a lot of Frank Sinatra stuff. I know you did, and, and, but but actually, I was back. I was not a. Sinatra fan when we first started doing that. Really? Wendell, Wendell Hartman had an idea about what he, how he wanted that to go on the front end. And, and so and you became was, a Sinatra so that singer. Was, that was my lot that I did that kind of stuff. And I, and I really liked it once I started. Well, he was it, a great singer and he had a way of choosing material that <laughs> you always remember something. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and the thing about it is, you know, and Jacob did a tribute show out at Montlow to him a couple years ago. And the thing about Sinatra is, as his voice changed, which it did, mm -hmm. he found music that worked. Exactly. And Tony Bennett's done the same He's thing. Done the same thing. You, know, uh, you can't, you can't keep singing. I, I remember Reba McIntyre said something about one song that she did that was a number one song that she wished she'd have never sung. Oh, what was that? I forget what it is, but it had a note in it that went all the way up to here, and she said. I can't hit that note <laughs> anymore. Yeah. I wish I'd have never. She I said, "I tried to I sing that it. song, <laughs> and I can't sing it anymore." And it's one. Of, it was one of her very best yeah. number one hits, and she can't sing it. I used to have to have to uh, plan uh, when we were doing that. It was in the early '90s, and, and people would always request. I left my heart in San Francisco, mm -hmm. and and I remember I had to plan that one. Because if I did that at the first of the show, you had to do it when I'm, you're warmed I'm, up. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I'm done for the rest of the night. You know, I, because it was some of the notes were already. You got to sing for us so, one but, day. Uh, and that's that's sort of like I did Mac the Knife. Mac, Mac the, the Knife, knife does the same thing mm -hmm. too. Yeah. You keep, you when, keep when going you, higher, when and higher. higher and higher and higher and higher, and when you get to the end of that song, you, you're done. And John and I were a lot younger in those days, uh, but uh, the higher and higher and higher thing. Uh, I'm not saying we were drinking or anything during the process of doing this. <laughs> well, <just laughs> but, saying. But, but, but you're not saying. But, but you know, it, by the end of the night, you could sing all that stuff. Right. I mean, maybe you it was all there. Yeah. 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 You could just keep singing. And it sounded it better and better and oh, better yeah. and better. But and only better. to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not really, because typically the crowd was just way just ahead of us. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. were way we, ahead of us. We, we stayed, we stayed, you know, we stayed down about, like Jimmy said, 
about three notches <laughs> below them where we can keep control of the, yeah. of the herd. Yeah, oh exactly. exactly. It was fun, though. And we're going to have some fun, uh, folks, with this show today. We'll be right back. Don't you go away. It's time in just a minute for more Just Plain Living. It's a Kia Cadenza kind of day at Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. This luxurious Kia has too many features to mention with prices starting as low as $33,943. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. We have a huge selection to choose from here at Russell Barnett Kia and mention this ad and receive an additional $500 off your next Kia Cadenza purchase. And remember, why buy anywhere else? The highest standard of excellence requires dedication and commitment. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of excellence in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our segment that we call Police Pointers. And we're pleased to have joining us today uh, Tullahoma Police Chief Paul Blackwell, who knows a thing or two about policing. <laughs> <laughs> and I've learned that over the, over the past year or so that you've been doing this segment well, here. Thank you. So, thank you. you know. And uh, you know, Paul did an interview for me back uh, a couple of three weeks ago when we uh, had a uh, mysterious package at Walmart and uh, obviously people like that because we put it on the internet had something like 20,000 hit, 22,000 hits or something like that so anyway we're in the big time uh, then yeah we? yeah <laughs> they, you know, typically you don't get that kind of response for something local but they were very, quite interested in that Paul yes we're also seeing in the news now uh, a lot of the, the police are very have been involved for the last few weeks in Ferguson uh, uh, Missouri? Missouri, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and they've had a situation out there, and uh, I, I guess there's right ways and wrong ways to deal with it from uh, the police standpoint. What are, your, what are your thoughts kind of on that? Yeah, since the incident occurred a couple of weeks ago, I have been asked that question several times. How would you handle it? Things of this nature. And, and I respond with, that's a hypothetical. You never mm -hmm. know how you're going to respond until you're in that situation. Uh, but what I try to explain is that the use of force is, is a continuum. You know, there's a range, and the officer is trained to react to the resistance that's being provided, that's being used against them. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe people can understand that a little bit. You know, obviously the best way would be a demonstration, but <laughs> we're not going to demonstrate on you today how quickly, I would hope not. No. How quickly a, an officer has to make a decision mm -hmm. on how they're going to react. Um, but first, let me explain that use of force uh, is authorized for police officers, and it's authorized in order to make an arrest, to prevent an escape, to prevent a suicide, and to overcome resistance. Mm -hmm. Those four things. Um, now, when I say the use of force, of course, that could be from the very minor to deadly force. Uh, so there's that range in there that, depending on circumstances, apply. Uh, and we kind of break it, we, in our uh, policy manual, break it down into four categories. No resistance. Um, that would be when I walk into a room or a police officer walks into a room, we're wearing a uniform that you recognize. We have authority. And you recognize that. So, you know, that's the very basic that, you know, you see a policeman, you recognize them, you know they have some authority. <coughs> uh, and if that's not sufficient, if I walk up to you and say, you're under arrest, turn around, place your hands behind your back, 
put the handcuffs on you. There's no resistance. That's easy. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have your mere presence. Then you have the verbal commands where I come in and I tell you to do something. And you comply. There's no resistance. The resistance is, very, is non-existent. But now let's take it to a chance. When I walk in, I say, you're under arrest. Turn around and place your hands behind your back. I start to put the handcuffs on you, and you start wiggling and trying to pull away from me. Then I have to use physical force using skills and techniques that I've been taught. Uh, restraint holds or, you know, what you have to do to get someone under control. Um, now let's say the same thing applies that, that you're more than just wiggling. Now it's a fight. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're authorized to use our mace, pepper spray, then a taser, uh, and then a baton. So those three kind of fall into when you're actively trying to resist me. Um, and then if we get to the next level, which is, of course, where you, the bad guy, the suspect, are, are using some type of deadly force, then we can, you know, then deadly force is appropriate as well for us. Mm -hmm. um, so th that, that range of force is what the officer has to determine is the necessary level to use to bring someone into compliance. I, but that you got to make those decisions quickly in, in, a, quickly. in a split second. That's though. right. And, and that's why, uh, you know, the officer has to do that quickly. And that's why we have to give them some benefit that, uh, you know, because they're going to get Monday morning quarterback. The media is going to eat them alive. Mm -hmm. And then they have to deal with the courts. You know, and this may take weeks, months, maybe even years to resolve. But let's go back to that officer who, in a matter of seconds, had to decide what is the right action to take. Now, as a police officer, I don't have to wait for you to hit me, <laughs> you know, right. to realize we're going we're gonna to be in a little battle here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it doesn't mean that if your resistance, you know, we don't have to stay evil, even. You know, we can go a little bit higher than what we need to to get you into compliance. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's kind of what we call the, the in the years ago they called it the force continuum. Some people just call it use of force, but nowadays it's kind of being referred to as the response to resistance. As your resistance increases, I respond to you to your resistance. So what it comes back to, it's on you. You know, if you want to fight, we're going to fight, and we're going to you know, probably use a level a little bit higher than just physical restraint to take you into, get you under control. Um, and, and, you, you wonder kind of why, why do people resist or, or fight with a police officer because you, you rarely ever win that one. Well, and, and, <laughs> you know? and I tell people that publicly, you will not win, you know, and I think we talked about this before. If you want to fight with a police officer, the cavalry is going to come. And there's going to be more officers, you know, you're not going to win. The bottom line, the officer will end up going home at night. You will end up going to jail. Right. You know, you just don't win. Uh, well, I like to tell people, if you have an argument with a police officer, the place to argue is in court, not on the street. Because the police officer is going to win. And I don't mean that in a, yeah, in, it, as this is a fight, but you know the the officer is going to prevail because if you go to jail you have not done you have not done anything for your cause you you, you spoke of that progression a moment ago uh, uh, is that something that's obviously something you got that police officers are taught right uh, mm -hmm. in, in their so there's you don't just put an officer on the street without some sort of training right no, yeah and that's something they're taught early on in their training and it's constantly reiterated throughout the years now, departments may differ because some may have, some may not use tasers, so they don't have that taser in the, uh, in the levels. Uh, some may not carry mace. You know, that there's pros and cons to carrying mace. If you use your pepper spray, and I say pepper spray, we carry pepper spray, uh -huh. civilians carry mace. Right. You know, if you spray pepper spray, you don't always get the bad guy. Yeah, sometimes you get, you get, the, get yourself get, or, or your <laughs> officer. Yeah. And if you spray them, then you put them in your car, you're going to smell that all night long. So yeah. if the wind's in the wrong direction, <laughs> yeah. you know, when you spray pepper spray, you got to make sure you're upwind of where it's going. Right. Uh, you know, so 
mace and a taser is not designed to hurt anybody. Right. It's designed to get you under compliance. But if we have to pull out our baton, someone's going to get Somebody hurt. Somebody can get hurt. Yeah, baton. That, yeah. That, that's why it's at a little higher level. Right. It's not intended to kill anybody, but it's it's intended to hurt. Right. Um, so we start at the very bottom of here I am in a uniform. I say nothing, and you should recognize that I have authority. Right. Then if I have to verbally express myself, that's the next level. The next level is if I have to put my hands on you to bring you into compliance. Right. Uh, and then next, if you want to resist a little bit more, we go to the, the pepper spray, the taser, the baton. And if it's a situation that involves deadly force, then the use of our firearms. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. It, it, in, in a matter of seconds, and I say if we demonstrated, you know, and I put you into that position where... You got to decide yeah. what you're going to do. Exactly. You got seconds to do it, and it could be a life-threatening situation to the yeah. police officer as well. Yeah. So we could go from me just walking into the room and being recognized as a cop to boom, yeah. deadly force. Right. If the situation demanded it, so uh, it's something that I, <laughs> I think we're getting the X. <laughs> I think they're throwing us off here, yeah. Bob. But. I'm on, yeah. I'm on the set with the police chief. Did she do that? Right. So we have to wait and get all the information. That's what our legal system is about. Right. The grand jury system, the court system, is to find out where the truth lies and to make a determination. Yeah. Okay. But our officers are going to get Monday morning quarterbacked every time they use force. Yeah. And also, if it gets to the highest level and their gun has to be used, you need to remember that they've actually been trained to use that gun. So. They do. We qualify so. two, three times a year to make sure officers know how to use their gun and to operate right. it, uh, their pistols and rifles and shotguns and right. uh, whatever tools that we have to make sure we're proficient with them. Right. Paul, thank you so much. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back in a moment, folks, right after this. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. This is a tree that was never chopped down. To make a crutch that was never needed. By a child who never got polio. Because vaccine was never in short supply thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either over the years rotary club members have helped immunize over two billion children against polio soon the world will be polio free rotary humanity in motion has it been since you raced a cheetah? Are your tornado creating skills getting rusty? Tired of being the only one in your neighborhood who hasn't built a dinosaur? Sounds like it's time to visit the Hands-On Science Center. The Hands-On Science Center is an indoor science playground. In this museum, please touch is the rule. Join us for weekly science demonstrations on space, lasers, lizards, rocks, and a whole lot more. No two visits are ever the same, so visit often to see our ever-changing exhibits and demonstrations. The Hands-On Science Center, 101 Mitchell Boulevard in Tullahoma. I'm meteorologist Leland Statham, and you're watching Just Plain Living here on Charter Channel 6. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You know, I talked a little bit earlier about the Coker building across the street, and they had a ribbon-cutting ceremony over there. The Chamber of Commerce did uh, recently uh, at Southern Sundays and also at the Coker building itself. And uh, part of that was about rooster wear. So, uh, rooster wear, what do you think about that, huh? So we're gonna go to that video right now. And this is the one year ribbon cutting for Southern Sundays, located in the Coker building right here in Tullahoma. Uh, Tony and Cassie Groh have opened this a year ago. 
and it's just doing very well. And the Chamber of Commerce is having having this ribbon cutting out here to celebrate their one year anniversary. Hey, on behalf of the City of Tullahoma and the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce, we want to congratulate Tony and Cassie and the Southern Sundays <laughs> on their opening. And uh, we want to give a big round of applause. Thank you. Go ahead and the They're very sharp. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, this is Southern Sundays, and there's Tony right there. And as you know, Southern Sundays has every kind of homemade, fresh made, handmade gelato in the world done by Cats that Grow. And, and these folks back here make the greatest sandwiches ever. And you just need to come by Southern Sundays and check it all out. Look at that big smile back there. Uh, he's got his gun shining today, wearing his medium shirt. All right, this is the ribbon cutting for the merchants at Coker's and some of the new some of the new things they have going on here at the Coker building uh, along with Southern Sundays we have uh, Rooster Ware and Rooster and the Red Maiden shop here and uh, numerous other things so uh, this is the Chamber of Commerce ribbon cutting for the shops at Coker all right ladies and gentlemen I'm at the Rooster and the Red Maiden booth here inside the Cokers and some of the things you can find here are Avon products that you can, if the product is not here, there are order forms for you to order and all kinds of neat things here that are provided by the Red Maiden and then the first project for rooster wear are handmade bow ties by the rooster and you can see right here they're any color, any fabric that you like, uh, Rooster can make you a, a bow tie, and they're just $25 for handcrafted designs for the cock of the walk, brought to you by Rooster Wear. A clear path for the cut. the ribbon cutting for the Martin and Coker. The highest standard of trust offers a sense of safety and comfort. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of trust in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. Have you heard that little voice that beckons you to come home to Tennessee? Well, here's your chance. Here's a property offered by its owner. It's 20 miles from the National Walking Horse Celebration Grounds in Shelbyville, Tennessee, and only 10 minutes away from the Jack Daniel Distillery in Lynchburg. It's located at 769 Shipman Creek Road. This property has over a 5,300 square foot home on 45 acres, and a sprawling 200 acres is also available. Let's take a look at the house. Bill Built in 1998, this home has four bedrooms and three and a half baths. This home offers wide open views, featuring the main floor with over 2,700 square feet of living room, an eat-in kitchen, a formal dining area, and a massive 20 by 19 master bedroom with a master bath and fireplace included. There is craftsmanship at every turn, solid cherry cabinets, built-in cherry shelves, and other solid cherry appointments. It's a two-story home with three nicely sized bedrooms upstairs. Down a spiral staircase, the basement hosts a 40 by 40 den with a handcrafted bar. We're leaving the jukebox here, folks. The basement is a recreation room on steroids. There are too many closets to count and more than you'll ever need. There are so many places in this home to find peace that you'll seldom want to leave it. But when you do, you'll discover up to 200 acres of paved roads with city water. The property is quilted with streams, woods, ponds, and open pasture. The view from the porch alone is enough to say your home. The property includes a three-bay heavy construction shop 
and plenty of room to build stables and graze livestock. If Tennessee's been calling you home, start your journey by calling this number. A property like this comes on the market but once in a lifetime. We think you'll love it. We think you'll stay. This is a very real estate. I'm meteorologist Leland Statham from the News Channel 5 Weather Center. Look to Jim Fuller and crew for local news night here on Channel 6. All right, folks, we're back. And one of the things we are all about here at Channel 6 and in Tullahoma and in this area is education. Education is what takes you forward in your life to be able to do the things you want to do. And uh, I have a lady here with me today who can help you with your education. Moving on, and that's Dr. Mary Lou Apple, and she's the president of Motlow. And what is getting ready to happen here is the state of Tennessee has guaranteed every high school senior two more years of education. That's right. There's a program called the Tennessee Promise. Mm -hmm. Governor Haslam wrote the program out and it is for the current seniors that will be the class of 2015. It's wrote in a Tennessee high school and upon graduation they will be eligible if they comply with all the deadlines mm -hmm. for two years of tuition free college or technical college. Right, right. So that, folks, is, she said a bunch of important things, and what we're going to do is we're going to sort of cut them up here, and, and the first thing is free college. But the most important thing is if you don't hit the proper deadlines, you right. miss out on free college. Correct. Right. And that's a very important point, John, and one in which we're appreciative that you're willing to help us share the word. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this program particularly is it does not have an income requirement or an academic requirement other than you graduate from high school. Well, I've never had a program like that in 37 years that has really truly been what I call an equalizer. It's for everyone. For everyone. And you parents out there know, because you've raised your children, how hard it is sometimes to get them to focus and realize what's happening tomorrow. True. They're, happening, they're about what's happening today or maybe next week, maybe, but you're talking about the, the first deadline that must be met is you must apply for this before November the 1st. Correct. A very important deadline. And the way that the Tennessee Promise works, if you miss a deadline, you're out of the program. There's no loop back. Your opportunity is gone, and we don't want that to happen for anyone. Yeah, so it's not like an insurance plan where if you don't, if right. you don't get it enroll today, six months down the road, they're going to have another enrollment right. period. Not you miss happen. November the 1st, you've missed two years of free school, two years of free education, two years of receiving something that will help you move forward in your life forever. Good point. Yes. So we're asking everyone to help us mm -hmm. with that. Now, your high schools are engaged, your principals, your guidance counselors. We've got a lot of adults in the area, but we want to keep telling the story. It's very, very important. So if you know of a senior or you have one in your family, encourage them. Get them to uh, either come to the opening that we're having mm -hmm. at Motlow Sponsoring. Uh, the first one will be September the 20th at 10 o'clock here on the Moore County campus. We're going to have one on every campus. A mm -hmm. student can come to either one of the events that we're hosting. Parents may come with them. We'll be glad to help them make the Tennessee Promise application and a Motlow College application. And if they come to those uh, particular times, we will also waive the $25 application fee for Motlow. So we're going to try to help them get several things done while they're there and also answer questions that they may have about the different programs that they could become involved in, what kind of careers they might be interested in. Mm -hmm. But the November 1st, huge deadline. Huge deadline. And I just think you talked about 
one or two more free things, didn't you? That's right. We said about the application fee, normally you would submit a $25 mm -hmm. application fee. If you come to the event, the first one on September the 20th, then we're going to waive that fee and take care of it for you on that day. So that's some more free out there, folks. And listen, when somebody comes up and offers you free and free and free, free. you better show up. Absolutely. And we, we will keep reminding you, and just for right now, the Motlow campus is uh, September the 20th. The Fayetteville campus is September the 30th. The McMinnville campus is October the 7th. And the Smyrna campus is October the 18th. So there are four. Now, if, if someone misses this 20th and they go to Fayetteville, say like on the 30th, they're still enrolling in Motlow. That doesn't mean they have to go to school in no. Fayetteville. No. They can still go to Absolutely. school uh, here in Tullahoma. Right. These are just four different places and four different times Correct. that you will have an opportunity to be sure that your senior goes and registers. Right. And we want to help them. We want to help you make that. We'll have computers set up. You'll be able to get in. In fact, a lot of the um, staff from Tennessee Promise will be there as well. Well, that's great. That's great. And what we'll keep doing is, is if you'll allow me to keep this. Absolutely. We will, we will continue to promote this up until these dates are, are, are done and up until then. And we will also take part of this. I'm sure Jimmy's over there looking and saying, I'm going to take part of this and make a news clip out of it. Excellent. So Excellent. we will have you on the news as well. And it's just very, very important that, you know, one of the things that's happening in, in our society right now is there are, there are manufacturing people and employers who are finding out that they can't find enough qualified employees. Right. Correct. And Motlow has been working in the Megatronics Excellent. area, and our trade schools are trying to work together with our universities to make sure that when these employers come into our community, right. like the new big cheese plant that's coming in, when everybody thinks, oh, that's a cheese plant, it's robotics. It's robotics. You are so right. You know, manufacturing is robotics now. And it's not somebody with an apron on and, and sweat dripping off their brow. No. It's people who know how to do this and operate machines. That's right. And they're good paying jobs. Very livable good wages. Jobs. And we want our citizens to be able to have those jobs and obtain those jobs for that. Right. There's another part to the Tennessee Promise, though, that's for the community. And it is a scholarship program, but it has a mentoring piece to it. Oh, that's good. And so it requires the community to come up with volunteer mentors for the students who are in the Tennessee Promise. So Tennessee Achieves is out now. We're talking to Rotarians. We're talking to any kind of groups 21 years or older mm -hmm. to consider being a mentor. It's an investment of 10 hours of your time over a 12-month period. Okay. It's cheerleading the students to the finish line, getting them to hit the November 1st, the February the 15th, the college application dates, all of those things, helping those students that might not know how to navigate college. You got your son through it, you could help it another child get now, through. Now, is this, is this an individual or a business? That it is an individual. The They'll mentoring. have to find enough individuals in your community to serve the students in your area that's going to take part in Tennessee Promise. Okay. All right. So you folks out there with a little bit of extra time, help a, help a young person get through college and get a great job. And when you're doing that, when we have these young people available for an employment, when these companies come and look at our area, they see a, a group that they can hire. That's right, and, skilled. Uh, and run skilled people that will operate their business for them. Absolutely. And that's what brings jobs into our area if we have young people educated to do the work needed. And Miss Dr. Mary Lou Apple out at Motlow College and all of the wonderful people out there are going to help us make that happen. Deadline, November the 1st. Get your student ready to go. We'll be right back after these messages. Fit for Life, Tullahoma. Join the urgent team Get Fit Tullahoma Health Fair and Fitness Expo Saturday, September 13th at Northgate Mall from 9 until noon. Speak to health professionals, receive free health screenings, see different types of fitness demos, and more. And this year, 
we've introduced green vendors. Learn about sustainable energy and recycling. Don't miss this free and fun-filled morning for the whole family. Come out and see us Saturday, September 13th at Northgate Mall. Looking for a unique gift for someone special? Or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and fine sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. Trucks! Trucks! The number one selling truck for 35 years straight, the Ford F-Series, can be found at Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester. We have a huge selection of over 100 trucks to choose from. With Ford manufactured rebates and incentives up to $10,000 or 0% financing available, now is the time to buy. So come on down to Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester and remember... Trucks! Trucks! And more trucks. trucks! Why buy anywhere else? We get closer to a world with more birthdays. When we take cancer patients by the hand, we help them find answers and guidance and hope and give them more candles to light. We're the American Cancer Society. Help create a world with more birthdays at morebirthdays.com. Welcome back. We'll be glad you hung around today because we're going to be talking about fitness and I'm here with Mindy Street. Yes, ma'am. With Good morning. Urgent Team. You're the manager. Yes, ma'am. And you have a big event coming up and you're sponsoring it. Is that correct? That's correct. My company and myself are sponsoring this. Uh, we had one back in April. So this is our next one. So we're back again to promote um, Get Fit Tullahoma. Get Fit Tullahoma. Yes, Winston Brooks is always talking about that. I exactly. think the man knows what he's talking about. He does. Well, this this event will be at 9 o'clock on the 13th of September. And is that at the mall? Northgate Mall, yes, ma'am, from 9 a.m. till noon. And you have a lot of vendors. We do. We have uh, a lot of health care that morning. We'll have some uh, free diabetes screening, blood pressure screening. We have a, a dentist that will be present, Good. pharmacist. Let's talk about the diabetes um, screening yes, just a little bit. Uh, I wonder if there's not a lot of people that might be prone to having that and they don't even know it. Is exactly. that possible? That is possible. And so the screening will point that out. Exactly. If you're a candidate for, yes, for that. And I know that you are. I am. And I this, am a, this probably is close to your heart. It is. I'm a type 1 diabetic, so I'm really strong in this event and, promoting you know, it. I look at you and I think, how can that possibly be? But it can happen, it can to happen anyone. at any age and at any time. Yes. Okay, enough of that. Well, but I also want to say for a type 2 diabetic, the okay. difference in that um, there is a chance for them that if they, a lot of that is obesity. Right. So it can benefit them to watch their diet, exercise, and there's a chance that they could convert. And not have to do exactly. insulin and all that. Yes, they can actually control it yes, through exercise and healthy eating yes, and just healthy living, I think. Exactly. Don't you think? Yes, so I want to make sure that we promote for parents, especially in the community, for your children. Oh, as far yeah. as, yes, ma'am. So that's because yeah, it makes a difference on what they're eating, it does. how much activity. So sometimes I wonder if all <laughs> this that's going on is keeping our children fit enough. Right. Put the controllers down, get outside, get outside, uh, bicycle play some together. Ball. Yes, soccer ball. That we're all, all right, about let's soccer. Let's mention some of the sure. people that are going to be yes, at this event. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we have. Um, of course, we have a list here of, of many different people. We have um, the U.S. Marines are going to be there. We are going to be having some events, and we still have some spots that are open. Oh, okay. So if anybody um, wants to be included, right? Who um, do they call? Well, they need to get in touch office. with Winston. Oh, Win the, Winston Brooks, okay. yeah, through the city of Tullahoma, because he is the one that is uh, setting up all the schedule for okay. everything and the vendors. And um, it's free. You don't have to. It is pay it anything is. to right. be a vendor. Um, uh, we have uh, Heart and Region. We'll have someone there. Um, we have Tullahoma Pharmacy there. 
Um, we have Dr. John Petty is going to be present. The Coffee County Senior Line Dancers are going to be putting on a performance for us, so you guys need to be there at 10 o'clock for that. Um, and this actually starts at 9. It does. And goes until 12. It does. And so there's something going on all the time. I know you have yes. some drawings. Yes, some really do. good prizes? We do. My company, in fact, has donated a Kindle Fire HD, so we will have that. I am going to be out in the community today um, asking for donations for door prizes. Oh, so if you have away. something you would be willing to give for a door prize, you might just call Winston Brooks, right. or maybe you'll drop by the place. Yes, ma'am. You're looking for meals, you're looking meals, for anything movies, that anybody wants to give, at, give anything away. Anything that anyone would like to, to promote for. And uh, how long have you been here in Tullahoma doing this? Is I, this, I mean, were you part of the last one? I was. And is the this main the second sponsor. or the third? This is the second, the second for me. Event. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, so we'll continue on with this. Now we are promoting uh, green in this one also. Good. So once wants to make and sure. And be like recycling. And exactly. Exactly. And so taking care of keeping the city clean, keeping right. the county clean. Keep Coffee County beautiful. Keep it That's beautiful. That's what I say. That's and exactly right. Well, you'll be proud of me because every time I walk, I'm picking up a bag of trash along the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I've said to everyone here. I am not from this community, but I do call this my home away from home now. Yeah. So. Well, we love uh, it that you're here. How long have you been here? I've been um, down here with the center since January. Since January. Yes, ma'am. So I've gotten to be known out in the community. Well, a lot of people see me visit. I come in with my purple pins. Good. <laughs> and I notice it says Health Fair Fitness and Green Expo. Exactly. So this time. people are getting a chance to do a lot of different things. There seems to be a great lineup yes, of helpers, and I'm hoping that you'll get a a lot of people coming in. I know right. that in order to get a door prize, you'll sign your name and possibly visit several booths. Exactly. And I, you'll get your blood pressure taken. Right. Maybe they'll do it two or three times in case they see you and you have high blood pressure. Right. And they're checking again. Do you have good blood pressure? I do. That's I good. I do. That's the good thing. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And that comes from your eating correctly. Exactly. And those people are going to be represented. Exactly. And your workouts and everything that you do. Yes, ma'am. It makes a difference. Right. Um, at my company, we will be giving away um, hand sanitizer. I'm going oh, to be promoting good. against flu season. Hand sanitizer is good. Exactly. And I will be giving out some vouchers for some flu shots. Uh, I will have good. a select number that will yeah. be given out that day. Well, you know, I love it now that I go into some of the grocery stores, and I won't mention which one until they pay us out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm always glad to see the the you know, yes, the hand sanitizer yes, that you can kind of clean off things before you go in because right. the flu season is bad and there's lots of other diseases one can pick up. Yes, ma'am, it's coming on and my center will start giving shots um, within September. Oh, does it start that early? Yes, ma'am, it does. I wonder if the flu season yes, is about the same this year as it has been. Is this season has been really up? different for a lot of things. Um, during the summer months, yeah. we have seen a lot of um, Bronchitis. Bronchitis? Bronchitis. Interesting. A lot of colds. So lot of colds. it's been really different weather for us. So. Well, I'm going to encourage everybody to go out to Northgate Mall from 9 o'clock until noon on the 13th. That's yes, just very two weeks. Is that two weeks? Am I, is it one week? It's, it's not very long. Two weeks. It's two weeks. Two yeah. weeks from Saturday. And, uh, yes, it's a great opportunity to learn some new things about health and fitness, to get involved with your community, to keep the place beautiful. You got any last words that you want to say? Well, just um, one other thing too for you ladies. We're having the uh, Marine Corps there. We'll have the pull-up competition Wonderful. at 11:30 also. But now they also have ladies that can do the pull-up oh, also. Sure. We did it for men and women. So that's wonderful. Make sure you come out and see us that day. Well, I think it's going to be a wonderful event, and I really, really congratulate Winston and you and everybody involved in trying to keep people fit and make Tullahoma and the region beautiful. Thank Mindy you. Street, thanks for coming. Thank you, It was great to meet you, you and too. thanks for thanks. all you do. We'll be back with more of Living. Thank you. Partners for Healing provides medical care to the working uninsured of Coffee, Franklin, and Moore counties. We are in Tullahoma from 8 to 5, Monday through Thursdays, and in Manchester on Fridays from 8 to 12. We provide primary medical care and offer an in-house disease management program. My name is Rosie Mitchell, 
and I would just like to say I am blessed to have partners in my life. Please call 455-5014 for more information. Thank you for being one of our Partners for Healing. Don't risk losing the Social Security disability benefits you have earned. I'm Russell Hedges with Moore & Hedges Attorneys at Law. I bring over 25 years of experience and dedication to your case. My Social Security team will walk you through the process. We can increase your chances of winning and maximize the benefits due to you. If we do not win, you will not owe us a fee. Call me, Russell Hedges with Moore & Hedges Attorneys at Law for maximum returns and minimum concerns. A world without breast cancer is a world with more birthdays. And signing up for the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk will help us get there faster. The American Cancer Society invests in groundbreaking breast cancer research, and we're part of every community. In fact, one in two women newly diagnosed with breast cancer turns to us for support. Sign up today at makingstrideswalk.org. Together, we can finish the fight against breast cancer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we started it last week. Uh, we are going to continue with the millennium, our Millennium Moment series, and that is where Bob Couch talks about the history of Tullahoma and the Middle Tennessee area. So we bring to you this day's offering of the Millennium Moment. all you wonderful people on TV land. It's a nice day today, good and warm as usual, but it's good to be with you and thank you camera lady and gentlemen for putting a good, clear, sharp, crystal, colorful picture on the screen. You know, uh, we're all looking forward to the ice cream social tonight, July the 11th at 7.30 at South Jackson. That's always fun. That's good old music that we all like to dance to and listened to for so, so many years. It's always a refreshing and relaxing and enjoyable evening. And it's uh, so, so wonderful to to uh, bring back memories like that. And you remember uh, uh, way back and had the old, old early crank type uh, phonographs, 78 RPMs. And they scratched, and you'd have to change the needle after every two or three records. And, and of course, the most popular records would get worn out pretty quick, but uh, they were interesting to, to listen to and, and to watch. And as time went on, then they put motors in, the, in the, of the phonographs, and you just turn them on. And then they put volume controls on them, and they were great. Uh, uh, as the time went on, you know, and then the Nickelodeons came and we spoke about the first Nickelodeon uh, uh, at the Candy Kitchen uh, there in downtown Tullahoma and music has meant so much to us for so, so long and now with the uh, tapes and CDs and things of that nature, you can just pick out whatever music you'd like to have and pop it in there and, and have volume control and tone control that makes it real worthwhile, which is a, a great convenience uh, for the listeners. And speaking of conveniences, uh, that's a subject we'd like to share a little bit with you. It's a never-ending subject, and we don't have the time now to cover all bases about convenience. But, uh, uh, for example, uh, you remember uh, way back, uh, some of you senior, senior, senior citizens, that didn't, we didn't have electricity and uh, had uh, uh, lamps and coal oil lanterns to do our work at night and to study by. And then with the oncoming of electricity, how wonderful it was to have electric lights in our home and businesses. And it was just such a wonderful thing that uh, even the early, early uh, radios were all battery operated. Uh, 
and uh, in the twenties, and then uh, when it was the coming of electricity, then they started making electric radios in the late twenties, early thirties, where you just push a button and turn a knob and turn in on your favorite program or your music, wherever it might be. It was so, so convenient to do that. And then the ladies the, the, of the house, the the mamas that did the cooking and the sewing and the washing and all that sort of thing, uh, how inconvenient it was to heat a great big black pot of water out in the backyard with a fire to get uh, get their laundry done and uh, and uh, the old washboard that they had to use. And then came came the uh, uh, the Maytag washer that had a, had a gasoline motor on it, about a third horsepower gasoline motor that. Uh, uh, would run that uh, agitator and that washer, and they'd have a twin galvanized tub uh, to rinse uh, the, the laundry in. How inconvenient that was. And then they stepped on up to the the Bendix and the Frigidaire and the Maytag <coughs> uh, automatic washers. They are so wonderful to put your washer, washing clothes and uh, laundry in those tubs and put the detergent in and push the button and oh it was so wonderful for the ladies and <clears throat> they still had to have a clothesline though guess what on come on coming came the electric dryers and gas dryers which was so wonderful for the ladies that that had to do all that back breaking chores of the inconvenience of, of doing laundry and the same with cooking they had to have uh, have uh, a coal stove or wood stoves to do their cooking and we didn't mention though what would uh, even a automatic uh, washer do with our hot water do you, do you remember or do you have uh, have you seen lately a whistling tea kettle on your stove they're almost a thing of the past but they had the whistling tea kettle to, to get make hot water for tea and things in the kitchen to eat, and also for your wash tub to do your feet or do your laundry or do your your Saturday night bath. That water that was heated in a in a, a tea kettle on the stove, and then what happened to make it so convenient was the was the a thirty gallon galvanized uh, tank that. That to put pipes through your stove, a monkey heater or a cook stove in the kitchen that would heat your water, and and uh, to see if you had hot water night, you'd fill the tank to see, and when it got warm all the way to the top, then you had a a uh, 30 gallons of hot water that you, you could use, and that was wonderful. And there wasn't any gas uh, about that time at all, but now you have gas water heaters electric water heater that supply you with all your uh, water and hot water needs which makes it wonderful and uh, as I said we're not going to have time at this session but we I think we'll continue next week because there's a whole lot more to come and this is not the end of the story and I want to tell you that there's a lot more conveniences and inconveniences that we all remember so y'all have a good day and we'll see you at the ice cream social tonight thank you with no place local to find your style? Well, now you don't have to travel any further than Bryn's Shoe Boutique. Located at the Village on Jackson, 1940 North Jackson Street, Suite 120 in Tullahoma. From funky to formal, you can find the fit and style that will make you smile at Bryn's. A shoe anista herself, owner Brenda Kemp offers brands like Rocket Dog, Jessica Simpson, Mia, Nine West, Jay Renee, Bandolino, and more. Want that accessory splash that none of your friends have? Brins offers a selection of one-of-a-kind handbags and jewelry with just the right bling. So if your shoe selection doesn't stack up, find what you've been looking for at a price you can afford at Brins Shoe Boutique, now open in Telahoma. 
When you see the sign, the main event, take a close look inside at a hair studio that offers services by some of the best master stylists in Middle Tennessee. These stylists offer a list of services that compete with large city salons, from trendy cuts for men, women, and children, to the latest color techniques, including highlights and bold color accents. Other services offered include permanent hair weaving and relaxing to formal hairstyle for that special occasion. You can also give yourself a very special treat with a full makeover including full body waxing. For your convenience, we are open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. until the last client leaves happy. Call and make your appointment at 931-571-8682 or stop by our Telehoma location at 207 North Jackson Street. Pamper yourself at the main event today. An annual event started in 1939 will continue on August 20th through August 30th, 2014, when the World Grand Championship Celebration will once again be held in Shelbyville, Tennessee, at the Celebration Arena. Each year, people come from all over the world to contend for the coveted honor of being crowned World Grand Champion. From the wonderful flat shod to the exciting performance horse, they will fill the ring with the breed's best of the best. The celebration supports local charities, and this year they are asking everyone to come out and support the largest nonprofit event in Middle Tennessee and the 14 charities that depend on this event to fund their cause. Come out and be a part of a family tradition by showing your support to the 76th Annual Walking Horse National Celebration. For ticket and box seat information, call 931-684-5915. Welcome back to Living. I'm on the set today with Cindy Rayburn. She's here from Winchester and the Southern Women's Southern Society. Tennessee <laughs> Ladies Society. I know it is Southern a tongue Southern Tennessee <laughs> Ladies Society, which is doing this wonderful fundraising event for scholarships, correct? We are. Um, I'll kind of explain uh, what our organization is. It is a 501c3. Right. Uh, we do have over 200 members uh, okay. organized for fun and fellowship, but our main goal is to provide scholarships to graduating seniors in Coffee, Franklin, Grundy, Lincoln, and Moore counties. So it's not just uh, Franklin County. Correct. It's, so this whole region. You that's bet. wonderful. Yes. And um, over, we've just celebrated our fifth anniversary. Good. Have awarded over ninety thousand dollars in scholarships to that's thirty-five amazing. graduating students. Um, and not only is it, it's students that are well deserved. Um, we applications are put out, distributed in the schools, uh, the first of January. So any student that wants to apply, oh yes, is just go to apply. see their guidance counselor. Yes, and uh, it's basically on a point system. It begins with the application process, and then they go through an interview, and then also have an essay to write. So it's not just simply given away. Correct. You yes. earn it. Yes. And the person yes. that get it gets it's very deserving. Well, it obviously is. there has to be something to raise money. That's right. So you right. all so are having a. That's where we golf come in. Yes. Yes. And we're looking for people to play golf. That's right, we are. Um, this is the uh, second annual Swing a Club for uh, Scholarships uh, Golf Tournament. It is on uh, September the 13th um, out at Bear Trace. Um, to, I know I've been to Bear Trace, but other people might not know where that is. Tim's Ford have, State Park. Right. Yes, okay. it's, and a, it's, it's a out beautiful there. golf course. It is a beautiful golf course. It is. It's all surrounded by water. It's just very serene, and it is a place to go it's play very golf. Peaceful. Yes, it is. And you can sign up in teams of two. Am teams I right? Teams of two. Yes. It's not it, a scramble. It's just correct. you go with two people. Correct. It's uh, ninety dollars a person. You have eighteen holes. Um, green fees, cart, you get breakfast um, and lunch, you get a uh, gift bag. We got some wonderful donations for our gift bag. Um, of course, it is tax deductible, it's the best sure. thing, you know. Yeah. And a shotgun does start at 8 o'clock uh, with breakfast starting at 7.15. Um, Russell Barnett. Uh, Chevy, yes, is donating a car for us for our hole in one contest. So if you get out there and practice getting a hole in one, a new car, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, wouldn't that be I fun? I would love to win a new car. <laughs> I know. Even though I don't play very that's well. Very gracious it, of Russell Barnett. Yes, by the way, yes, sometimes he is people very nice do get man. holes in one. That's right, they do. Um, we do have a thousand dollars in cash and prizes, which include um, both for men and women. Good. Uh, longest drive. 
okay. uh, putting contest. Um, let's see. Is what there else a top winner? Closest like to the whoever pin. had the best score? You bet. The There's best a best score. score for men and women. And then so we the, won't call it the worst score. We'll call it the highest score okay. for men and women. You know, it sounds a little bit better. <laughs> I might have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but um, it, it's not a scramble. It is. Uh, you, it, Bear Trace is such a lovely um, course. Go out, play your own ball. Uh, like my brother-in-law always said, if you get to double par, pick up and, and move, move on. on, you know, and, and that's what we want you and to do. And that way it'll keep moving. Yes. It'll keep moving. Yes. So definitely. in other words, you don't have to be the world's greatest golfer. To, like the, me. The whole idea is to do this for such a wonderful cause. Yes, definitely. It's a great idea. It, it is a fundraiser to raise money for our scholarship foundation. Um, this is one of our major fundraisers that we have through the year along with a wine tasting and a um, holiday market which is coming up in November, in November also. So these are our major fundraisers. I noticed that your deadline is September 5th deadline, for registration yes. and so they call you? Yes, please call me. Maybe we could put this up on the screen. It's 931-967 Four two two eight. If they're listening to me in the back, that would be nice to put that up. That'd and, be great. Uh, if they don't happen to get that number, is there somewhere else they can call? Yes. Uh, well, they can uh, go to our website. Okay. What it's, is that? It's uh, southerntnladies.com. Southern. TNLadies.com. Correct. And there's a um, registration form, a form on there. They can out. download it and then send it to our um, P.O. Box uh, 601 in uh, Winchester. Okay. And uh, I'd encourage you to call up all your golf friends and anybody that's willing to go out and they don't want to play, let them just donate the money. Oh, that'd be that's good, okay too. too we we're right. not going to turn you away. And enjoy a good breakfast and a good lunch yes. and have a good time. Yes. It's a great opportunity to give scholarships, help with scholarships to students across Middle Tennessee. Yes. Or at least this region. There we go. Southern Tennessee ladies.com. Is that correct? It is. Okay. Yes, that is. <laughs> and you get all the information you need. I think that's that's probably as good a way as any to do it. That's right. But you might not be home when the phone rings. That's Who knows? true. That's true. But I'd love to go over to the P.O. box and, and pick up I the check. I know this is tax deduction. Does that mean everything you uh, pl pay into this is tax deductible? Uh, most of the $90 fee is going to expenses and the course fee. Right. Um, uh, uh, there is only about a $20 um, donation fee that will go Go to the uh, scholarship foundation, which would uh, be tax, de uh, tax deductible. Then so. I notice it's best score, highest score, first, second, and third in the women's division. Well, there's first, second, and third team score. Team score. Uh, it's a combination of both players. Okay. And what we do is divide them up into uh, well three levels, or they say three flights. Uh, the first uh, place um, team would go from the first flight, and then so on and so on. It's a wonderful opportunity to, to do something good. How long have you been doing this? Uh, well, let's see. I am a charter member of the Southern Tennessee yeah. Ladies Society. Um, I have been chairperson for the golf tournament for, this is my second year. This is your second year. Yes, and it has been a challenge, like all fundraisers are, but um, I've put a lot of work into it. We've had um, a lot of businesses from Oh my gosh, from Tullahoma, Winchester, Fayetteville, Lynchburg, um, Manchester, give us so many great and that's, donations. That's, that's so and nice. Yes, it is. We do have a very giving region. Oh, yes. Which it makes is. me very proud. Yes. I think that any anyone that lives in this area can be proud of our donors. Yes. They're always certainly. willing to give. And yes. uh, so go out there and play some golf. It is on the 13th of September. You need to arrive about 7.15. 7.15 for breakfast, yes. And I'll sign up. And uh, I guess you have people lined up. They know when they'll tee off. Somebody yes. starts at 8, and it just kind of moves and escalates it until it's We're done. We're going to start on the back 10, and hopefully it'll be a great day. Well, Cindy, not only was it great to meet you, but well, thanks you for being a person that gives back. Thanks for having us. That means us. a lot. Thank we you, hope babe. you'll come back. Thank we'll you. be back with more of Living. Smoking tobacco accounts for three of every ten fire deaths in the United States. Telehoma Fire Department, Telehoma Fire Department, need you en route to a structure fire.
fire, 202 Main Street, heavy smoke showing. Neighbors advise child trapped inside. Lighters, matches, and associated smoking paraphernalia are the leading cause of preschooler fire deaths. We as firefighters know that most structure fires can be prevented. I've got one! I've got one! Command, this is primary search. We have a victim. Need EMS to meet us at the front door. Please help us to give you a fighting chance. This can be prevented. Contact the Tullahoma Fire Department for a free home safety inspection. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. The Charter Triple Play lets you experience TV, internet, and phone the way you want with no contracts. Hooked on HD? Now over 100 HD channels available. Movie lover? Get 10,000 on-demand movies and shows. 1,500 in HD, including movies in 3D. Missing your favorite shows? Record and watch TV with DVR service for four rooms and over 780 hours of storage space. Get Charter TV for $29.99 a month. Photo fiend, music fan, video streamer? Switch to super fast Charter Internet and do it all with the bandwidth to support all your devices. At 30 megabits per second, Charter Internet is 10 times faster than the phone company's DSL. Get Charter Internet for $29.99 a month. Want more talk for less? Charter Phone has unlimited long distance calling with no added fees like the phone company charges. Get Charter Phone for $29.99 a month. The new Charter Triple Play. TV, internet, and phone for just $29.99 a month each when bundled. Call 855-81-T-PLAY now. We're back here on Living. I'm Marilyn Ewing. Two very distinguished guests with me, as always, when I'm on this show. Leslie Iorio and Pratik Patel. And they are part of an organization. It is actually called... And integrity, visitation, and family services. I want to say welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, and want to get into exactly what this means uh, as far as this particular organization. And well, uh, well, we're a pending nonprofit, and uh, we want to. What we want to do is is, uh, provi is fulfill a necessity in the community. Uh, the there isn't enough resources right now to provide the services that we're going to provide. We're going to be doing visitations, supervised visitations for kids that, you know, need a second chance with their parents yeah. to reconnect with them. Right. So basically, you know, we provide that supervision so they can they can get a chance to reconnect with the parent that they have lost in touch with. Right. You know, that is that is basically our main mission. You know, we know there's a there's a organizations that provide that service mm -hmm. now, but they're overwhelmed with providing other services as well. So we will mainly yeah. focus on that visitation. And so that's what makes us, you know, proficient at what we do. Exactly. Now, this is a newly formed organization coming to the area. That's correct. Where did you actually figure or get to the point to say, this is on demand, this is something that we really need in this area? Well, um, many of us who are involved have worked either in child welfare or a mental health field yeah. or mm -hmm. substance abuse fields or mm -hmm. more than one of those. And we were aware that there's just a... Uh, there are great providers in the yeah. area, but there just aren't enough Wrong. services. So uh, we, last year, um, it came to my attention that there was a, a need for supervision 
um, and the supervising agency that's closest has a four-month waiting um, wow. time. So yeah. uh, we said, you know, this is something that we could provide for the community, yeah. and we could do a, a, a good job. Exactly. You're getting the word out how exactly so that people are really aware of this particular thing going on. Right. Mostly, um, you know, we started by just doing cold calls. We'll, we'll yeah. visit lawyers that, mm -hmm. you know, have, are doing divorces and and things of that and just letting people know game out brochures that you know that we're we're open for business that you know mm -hmm. you can come we will we'll provide the service uh we have a facebook page you know it's in uh, facebook.com slash integrity vfs mm -hmm. and you can find us on there all of our services all of our contact information exactly you know we're, we're available and we're trying to provide to southern middle, middle tennessee so basically you know bedford county uh, mcminnville manchester is, is yeah. the area that we want to focus on right is where the area is the is that, that we're needed the most exactly so. exactly you're made up of mostly volunteers maybe 100 percent volunteers mm -hmm. how does this work well right now uh it probably will be volunteers and independent contractors mm -hmm. to begin with and um there, there's a people who often will have a primary uh a, job and yeah. they're going to come in and help us right so that's or then the, or they've got an in, eventually we hope to get involved with the universities and get some interns as well excellent excellent how can others get involved I mean volunteers and we have uh, multiple ways you know you can get involved we're always looking for sites to uh, to perform the visitations and sometimes mm -hmm. uh, family members can't get to right now we have a site in Shelbyville so sometimes a family member from from McMinnville can't get to Shelbyville exactly. so if anybody has you know an extra office a conference room anything like that that they can offer or even just want to you know somebody wants to do fundraising or that can you know hold a location mm -hmm. for fundraising for us anything like that you know time or yeah. or locations any kind of services or if you want to you know have have history and working in the mental field and you want to get mm -hmm. involved in, in doing the supervision then you know you can contact us at you know our contact number absolutely to provide and uh, yeah. you know we'll get you started no right <laughs> right you mentioned fundraising is there anything that's maybe coming up that you're looking to do or wanting to do not in not in the near future okay we um Right now, our nonprofit status is pending. We're it's a it's a long, long process. Yes, it is. So we're waiting for that to come through before we we actually start to do to okay. take donations. Okay. Except we we have heard that um, that one of the things that uh, is is really nice to do is to give each of the children that come into the program a teddy bear to leave with. And so if anybody would like to donate teddy bears, maybe a school or a church or individuals that would like to yeah. to donate in some teddy bears to us. That would be fantastic. Oh, yes, absolutely. You'd be surprised. People will start to maybe come around and pour out things to you guys on a wonderful organization and such. So give us the particulars as far yeah. as your contact information. Okay. Um. Well, um, we the telephone number is 931-455-7071. Okay. Um, the um, email address is integrityvfs at gmail.com. Very good. And the Facebook page is? In Facebook.com slash integrityvfs. Right, exactly. So maybe needing uh, other board members, advisory board members, volunteers, site locations. Right. And yes. uh, we can, we're also accepting you know, toys or board games mm -hmm. and things that we can furnish our you right. know, sites with as well. Um, which yes. also could be used. Yeah. Yes. Slightly loved would be oh, yeah. fine. <laughs> Absolutely. And you're trying to actually serve the southern middle Tennessee area. Right. Is yes. that right? right. So basically, yeah. you know, Lincoln the, County as well right. and also Franklin County. Yeah, and, you know, we, we're, we know the government agencies are, you know, they want, they're doing, they're working hard to, to provide this service as well, but they're also overwhelmed with doing so many yeah. other things. So yeah. we just want to, you know, if, if we can relieve some pre pressure from them, that will allow them to do their job better and let us, let us also do our job. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. You know, it's going to be, you know, us working with other agencies as well. Sure. To, to better the community Absolutely. together. Absolutely. You know. Yeah, it'll make it all better. Yeah, Everyone exactly. joining together. Exactly. So yes. good luck on that. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. I'd like to express gratitude to those who gave us um, our, our sites where we're going to oh, be sure. working. Um, Dr. Barbara Kaczmarska yeah. is giving us yeah. a site for mm -hmm. our supervised visits, exchanges, and classes. And also the web school is allowing us to do parenting classes or other classes excellent. in the excellent. future um, on their off hours, so yeah. evenings and weekends. Oh, which excellent. We really appreciate those Very donations. Good. Yeah, thank you. Let's get that phone number once again, by the it's way. It's 931 455 
7071. Okay. And Facebook.com slash Integrity BFS. Oh, very good. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. You very I appreciate much. you we coming really by and talking it. with us and expressing what's going on with you. Very newly formed organization, Integrity Visitation and Family Services. This is Leslie Iorio along with Pratik. Patel had a little trouble with names, but uh, thank you, and thank you so much for understanding that. Thank, thank you, you very much. Much. again. Keep us updated as to what's going on with this, we okay? We will. Thank you very much. That's another segment for Living. Stay tuned. Back in a moment with more. It's a Kia Cadenza kind of day at Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. This luxurious Kia has too many features to mention with prices starting as low as $33,943. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. We have a huge selection to choose from here at Russell Barnett Kia and mention this ad and receive an additional $500 off your next Kia Cadenza purchase. And remember, why buy anywhere else? The highest standard of integrity delivers stability and honor. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of integrity in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back and look at this. Isn't this an absolutely gorgeous animal? This is Marshall and he is the director at Life Care here in Tullahoma. And I'm sorry, dear, but I, Erica. Erica, and what is your what is your position? I'm the skilled wing unit manager. Skilled wing unit manager. And what what this is about pets and people. That's right. And comfort. Yes, sir. And give us a little bit of background about what you do with animals at Life Care to help in the care of the patients that are there. Well, John, a, a lot of people think that, that we're just there for the physical therapy, uh, speech therapy, and occupational therapy. Uh, but a couple other therapies that we have are, of course, the pet therapy, uh, to where we have uh, various breeds of dogs that actually come in. Uh, including Quinn here, uh, which is a uh, Great Dane and Poodle mix. Uh, Great Dane and Poodle mix, folks. Have you ever in your life, what a, and, and a gorgeous animal. Yes, uh, Gentle John, uh, she actually uh, is one of the, the favorites there at the facility. Uh, along with, uh, we actually have German Shepherds that come in, uh, Chihuahuas, we actually have an in-house uh, Chihuahua dog that, uh, that roams the halls uh, and visits with the patients and right. it just gives them that, uh, that pet uh, social relief and uh, getting, to, getting to just hang out with our pets and, and see various animals, which uh, doesn't just stop at the dogs. We've actually uh, had little mules and just different uh, ponies come in throughout the, the facility in the past. Really? Uh, but uh, anything just to, to, to open did up I, the did eyes I, and did that make a good day for the residents. So. <laughs> you know, I noticed, I guess the first time that I saw this was when uh, Mr. Couch was down in your facility in Lynchburg. And they were, there were some cats and some animals down there. And I think the cat was one of the specifics that would just ease around in the different rooms and visit. You know, very social, just go right in. Just like somebody knock on the door, the, the animal goes in and, and looks up at the person, maybe might jump up on the bed or whatever, and uh, they visit for a while, and then the animal leaves and goes down the hall and visits somebody <laughs> else. It's amazing. How do, you, how do you find this to be received by the patients? They absolutely love it. Um... You can't get more loyal than an animal for love, so there's unconditional love, so people love animals. 
and we've kind of branched off on because of our furry friends that come to work and help us we are doing our pay what forward this month for our furry friends so we're helping raise money and funds for the Humane Society, the Animal Shelter, and Love Link Dogs. Oh, well that's great, and, and that's something that, that Life Care here in Tullahoma, a, a program that, they've, that they have uh, started, and that's the Pay It Forward program, and that's to be involved in the community and the surrounding areas with, with things that need help, and you, you raise funds there to do that and make a donation to uh, the different things that, that need help. Exactly. And, and so that's, that's great. Now, what, what again were the, the three? We are doing the Coffee County Humane Society. Okay. The Telehoma Animal Shelter. Very good. And a place called Love Link Dogs that actually gets dogs um, before they're euthanized. And gives oh, them wonderful. forever homes. So. Wonderful, wonderful. And I know, I know that they all always need stuff. You know, if, if anything from bowls to to feed to collars to whatever, you know, they're all always in need because uh, they're all nonprofit uh, organizations that need help. Uh, this is just this is wonderful. That what a what a gentle giant. You're right. How old is she? Uh, she's a little over a year, and so I think she's about fully grown. Uh, I'm sure she'll put a little weight on in the years as the kids feed her the, the table scraps. Are they riding her? Uh, yes, actually they do. They do. And, now yours, uh, yours are what age? Uh, we have a seven, five, four, and two year old. So. All boys. All so, boys, and so I probably every one of them gets on her. Oh yeah, yeah. If, if not the rider, they actually uh, will use her as a pillow. Pillow, so. yeah, that's, that's a good, well she looks like she's a, she's a good girl. Uh, do you have pets at home? I do. I have a boxer, and then we have two uh, mixed breed dogs that we have at my house. We had we had a boxer for uh, a long time for a boxer, which was he's like 11, 11 and a half, which is pretty good run for a boxer. It is. And uh, Simon, Simon the Destroyer is what we called him, because <laughs> when boxers are little, I mean, he ate the screens off the house. <laughs> they eat everything. And and when he you know sling their jaws like that, it just you know just sprays everywhere. But uh, what a great animal! Animals are wonderful. They are and wonderful. And I think what you're doing here is a is a very very good thing. Uh, anything? Any? You have any other new programs coming along here? Well, of course we've uh, Erica spearheaded the the Pay It Forward program. So every month we have uh, a different. Uh, uh, avenues that will that will yeah, assist right. in, uh, and so next month we actually have uh, the the prom that we're going to host there at Life Care. Oh yeah, that's uh, always fun. Home. I it's love always, that. So in preparation of that, that will actually be our program for next. Yeah, month, that's so. great. So we're gonna, you know, it would be good next month if we could get some uh, some dresses. Yes. And maybe yes. even if I even if I have to come over there, you know, I'll come over there and photograph some of that. Thank you. If you want, and then when when we come on, we can have stuff to show. Awesome. Be great. Awesome. So. Uh, so uh, well, we just appreciate you, and, and there's no way that I can thank you and your staff and the people in your facility for the wonderful care you gave my father-in-law. And uh, I, I, I just don't know what else to say other than thank you very much. Well, you're very it welcome. It was very well it done. It was our pleasure. Very well so. done. And with that, am I going to close this show? Folks, we're closing the show right now. We want to tell you goodbye. Make sure you watch all these programs on Charter Channel 6. We're here to give you local information, news, and all things good like a beautiful dog. We'll see you next time, folks.